and the nation to receive a phone call that your child is no longer here, that your child is gone, that your child did not survive injuries, and that it was a gruesome scene, and to know that my child's blood was shed all over the concrete, and my child laid down in a pool of blood without his mama, life gone. To have to live that every day, every day. To be able to sit behind my closed door and try to understand what happened to my life and that what happened to my child that was a productive person in society. And to know that somebody was evil enough to kill my son. But also to sit and cry and just say, God, show me somebody because this pain is too great to sit behind my door. I had flat line in the cemetery where I could feel my son say, Mom, can't no work happen here. You got to take this pain out of here and take it to the streets. I wrestle with that. Who wants to see, who wants to be crying every time you turn around? You drive and you're crying. You go to the grocery store and you're crying. That, that wears you out. You have no energy. But then that day that my son, of his anniversary, and I kept seeing the flyers on Facebook. I'm like, wow. First I saw the one at TSU. I was like, oh, that's wonderful. Then I saw the one coming up for his anniversary. I was like, I just, I just, I don't think I can do that.